What wow, go on everybody? Today I'm in Miami. Miami Gardens to be exact. And we're checking out a place that is totally awesome, totally unique. It's a Jamaican restaurant that serves jerk chicken, jerk pork, jerk oxtail, jerk wings, all sorts of sides to go with it. This is Jamming Jerk. From your step in, the smell of Jamaica is right there and it really just infuses the nostril. That smell of sweet, sweet Jamaican jerk, the fire, the smoke, the flames, the entire Jamaican atmosphere is right here in a drive through location in South Florida. So once you drive in and pull up to the drive through you can see the grill. The grill is real Jamaican style, just a pit with pans and smoke with a chef in there that cooking up a whole heap of jerk chicken jerk pork and all different flavors so once you come in you can place your order either at the drive-thru or you can go to the window take your order there and then you can sit or you can sit in your car drive through and wait and get your jerk chicken your jerk pork your jerk oxtail your jerk wings they have all sorts of sides as well to go with it so let's go check them out Respect where are David? Yeah, I'm boss. You look like a you are boss. Cause I grill a smell of way. How over there? My name was who thinks I a yard me there. This coming my name was a foreign this. Alright. So I'm um, jerk pork and thing the funny thing, I just jerk chicken today. Jerk chicken, jerk pork, jerk wings. Oxtail, oh, everything. Oh, yeah man. Sting gani, nani, stuff like that. Yeah man. Are you met you met the seasoning? Yeah. Seasoning make from scratch. Yeah, everybody up. Yes, brother. So the smell touching you right as you go in, you can smell. Look at the smoke coming off of that. That's authentic jerk that's going on there. You have to have the smoke anytime you you anytime you're jerking anything. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but when you're jamming jerk. Yeah, you're getting the smoke flavor. Whether it's a pork, the oxtail, the chicken, the smoke is heading into there and that will just flavor and encase it, wrap it around. You know that's one of the things that we look for when we're looking for real Jamaican jerk. And as you can see, it's like a drum pan that them jerking on. So it's something that's not even American. It's real Jamaican style of cooking with real Jamaican flavors, real Jamaican smoke going straight into the food. Oh gosh, you're rubbing down the sauce, so you know that sauce going right where you want it. That is care, that is time that you take to just rub it down. It's not like most places where you're going to just toss it and then miss a spot. You know that wing getting a massage of that sauce all over. A full wing massage. That's your jerk sauce? Yeah, that's the jerk sauce. So it's a spicy jerk sauce? Spicy, sweet, tangy. House jerk sauce, you make that yourself? Yeah, we make it from scratch. I think so. We have like pepper, scotch bonnet pepper in scotch there. Scotch bonnet pepper in there. You can't get a seat. Can't get all 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 yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So 
were lucky enough to get a sneak peek into the inside of the operation and the smell once you get in here your nostrils just ignite with that smell of jerk it smells like real authentic jamaican jerk and when they open it up and you smell that jerk chicken and you see that jerk chicken the look of it has that char has that natural flame that comes straight off of a grill that you're looking for and then when they go to the oxtail it's just like jesus mama jesus then blow my mind those medallions of oxtail just wrapped around with jerk encasing that flavor that smoke that's gone into it off of the grill and then placed in here to be delivered to whoever comes and order we are here we are ordering and i can tell you it looks and smells absolutely amazing it smells like a piece of home so we have customers that come here and say what's festival tell them it's a good time yeah well, and then they'll be like what's hardcore bread <laughs> you have to teach them yeah what well, but I bet they end up coming back after that. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Um, pot of rice and peas. You have to love the authenticity of the place. That huge pot of rice and peas is cooked in a Dutch pot. Planting and thing too? Yes, sir. So, if you want to order as well, there is DoorDash and there is Uber Eats. You can check them out on that or you can call. I'll put a link to the number in the description and the address. Now, this look like me a van back full of jelly. I could have just climbed in this and would have good sit down right at Jamming Jerk and chop two jelly. So, just when I thought I saw it all from Jamming Jerk, them come with one more surprise. They're bottling their own natural juices around the back in a small little place where they're chopping coconut and putting them into bottles it's natural coconut chop it up pour it out and pour it into containers plastic containers to head to the fridge so that it's served fresh and you're getting a real 100 percent organic coconut water so fresh coconut water that's bottled here mm -mm. Blood fire. A jelly that sweet foreign jelly come in like a more sugar than I had. You will get sugar from them jelly. It's natural though. No preservatives, no additives, nothing at all. Straight to organic from the coconut to the bottle, to the fridge, to the table, till you consume it. We'll what, what kind of drinks you have? So we have sorrel, we have sour sap, pineapple ginger, cucumber and everything um, Patrick blends right here at Jammin Jam. All natural. Yeah, Patrick is from Jammin Delights. Uh, yeah, man. All natural. I wish part of you come from, Chef? Doing the park. Eh? Doing the park. Doing the park? Yeah. I, okay, so I don't play for the yard roll with Hydrating, make sure say, everything stay flavored. Look at the grill marks that you're getting. So the food come out. And it's a mountain of food. I mean, the smell of this is just driving me bunkers and I can't wait to dig in and see exactly oh la la that jerk chicken we're starting with the jerk chicken the jerk chicken looks authentic they put a little parsley on top just to decorate it to give the plate a little color you're getting bark there is crust on jerk and it's cooked right through we just have to see how the seasoning is now come on I like them. You're getting strong pimento flavor. You're getting heat. 
and you're getting real jerk flavor because of that smoke that smoke has wrapped in and has soaked right down infused it straight to the bone between that pimento and the scotch bonnet some metal vibe of heat and it hitting the spot it doing the righteous jerk that you want here this is proper jerk chicken What are you trying? Pork. How oh, the pork taste? Pork tastes good with food boss. Ah, it's very, very good. <clears throat> well seasoned, not too spicy. Nice authentic taste, like I talked about the char before. Very, very good. I just went into a piece of the fat off of the pork and that's crackling with that are crackling you can get crackling on the pork on the jerk pork you can't deny that I keep on showing you how well it's cooked that tea smart could send me to jail from the bite that's gone into it jerk wing hmm how juicy that is now like the sauce have a kick that sauce have a nice kick to it the shot the spices there the same flavors and the heat mm. to find somewhere that give you that heat on the jerk it's really warming not just to your mouth but to my heart because it's almost like you're getting true Jamaican flavors an hour and a half flight away this is like a Jamaican jerk sauce that them put up on a year Jamaica and bring come and you eat all over in South Florida I want you to try these things and tell me if it if it makes it absolutely you, someone know your food absolutely and apparently it's the wings with the I'm assuming the barbecue sauce Probably, yeah, I yeah. think so too. Alright, let's try it. Jerk consistent, very, very consistent. Just like the pork, seasoned well, again, not too spicy. I mean, in that chai, I could actually eat this as well. Of course, you have a little sniffle, but it's very, very good. Very, very good. Just when you thought we were done, boom, them lick you with the oxtail, jerk oxtail. This is something you have to clasp your hand and close your eyes. Jerk oxtail, the oxtail medallions have been put out. Look at that seasoning on it. That seasoning that's coming off of the oxtail, that's how well soaked the seasoning is onto it. And then you get this medallion of meat that just wraps up how tender it is. And if it has that same jerk sauce that was on the last one, God help us. Mm. I never had jerk oxtail before food boss. Yeah, that was something else. Like I said, you start sniff of the nose, you know, say the jerk right, you know? Good stuff, bro, good stuff. Yeah, one. And jerk is one of the stops. The oxtail, the flavor of the oxtail is there, but the mixture of it with their house jerk rub, the spice, the seasoning, you're still getting heat. And I really, I, I can't stress how important that is for me. That you're getting real. A lot of places in Jamaica don't give you this heat level or spice level when you're eating, and. To me, sometimes it take away tourists up the jerk, tourists up the food. When you want more of that tip of the touch, me, I mean, up a haul up my nose and drop my nose not before it touch anything before you embarrass around people because of the pepper. Clear the nostrils, clear the sinus. That is what Jamaican jerk and scotch bonnet, when you're using it in Jamaican jerk, is supposed to represent. And this, my nose soon run. Mm but that rich meaty flavor because the oxtail is so close to the bone and the fat that has rendered down on it it has tons of flavor so you're getting that oxtail flavor you're getting that jerk heat and you're getting 
the bits and bits of pure Jamaican joy. Some people might comment and say this is bad manners. Nope, this is how you eat taxi. Get down to the grizzle, get down to the fat, get down to the bone and make sure you get all of that juice out of it. You know how much for this? You think I'm gonna waste this? I'll still is one of the most expensive meat per pound if you count the meat and not the bone because most of the time all the time when you buy an ox sale, you're buying more bone than you're buying meat. <laughs> so I'll write some piece of curry. So if you just open up a rice and peas and the man said, all the rice and peas look jerk. <laughs> I don't lie, the rice and peas look jerk. <laughs> I have to take a we'll sample off of that. But the well seasoned cooking a Dutch pot inside. Wow! Didn't expect that. The rice and peas are shot. Oh, whoa. Getting the sweetness of the coconut milk. You're getting all sorts of flavor that you're supposed to get seasoned well, salted well, and just fluffy and nice, flaky, not mushy or mushy. To cook that big pot of rice and pea. Hey, chef, big up yourself in a Kajano. Everything shot. Bless up, man. With flavors like these. Why would you go to an American place? Why won't you support your own, support your country, man? Support your country, support your flavors. Polo, when you polo, 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 polo tropical can see me again. It's not worth it. When you're getting real flavors like these, you support your own, you support Jamaican owned businesses, you support the locations that bring these flavors to your door front to your doorstep and just give you that natural nice piece of home when you're away from home are you doing with the rice and peas huh? yeah man yeah man trust me you can mention to that but marinate the chicken for two days if you want if i want but that's <laughs> what my taste you hear it i didn't even have to say it come by the chicken is marinated for two days. That's why you're getting that flavor soaked right through. And that's how it's supposed to be. So what you're getting is real authentic Jamaican jerk in a drive through location in South Florida off of 183rd in Miami. Well guys, that is it from South Florida. Unfortunately, the weather gave us a hard time with filming, but we'll be back. New York, Toronto, Diaspora, link up 